Hey, what's up guys? This is Laszlo with KLA. Hope everyone's having a great day. Uh, it's been a while. Um, wanted to bring you guys a review today on the Fear God Essentials uh, sweatpants that dropped in the spring summer collection. Uh, specifically the Heather Oatmeal, the dark, the dark colorway. Um, just thought it would be a, a good time to, to do a review. Mainly because the um, new collection for the fall is coming out and um, there's going to be a bunch more drops uh, kind of similar to last year in the fall and winter where there was drop after drop after drop November, December, no, um, January so I wanted to bring you guys this quick review on the essential sweatpants just to make sure that you guys are set and ready as far as what to expect when you are purchasing them um, and give you guys a little bit of an on body, on foot look for the sweatpants um, how you can style them with different shoes because they're definitely very versatile um, sweatpants um, just due to the cuff how it's set up you can wear them a few different ways um, and get a few different styles and looks that you can achieve with them um, compared to a regular pair of sweatpants as long as you're kind of thinking outside the box and um, you can make those adjustments based on the type of shoes you're going to be wearing so um, that's about three to four different styles which I'll definitely have um, towards the end of the video um, so without further ado let's just jump into the video all right so like I did say these are the Heather oatmeal colorway um, definitely a nice color I would say it's probably that in between um, it's not as light as like the um, Heather gray or the oatmeal colorway it's definitely a lot darker um, it's pretty much the same colorway that Jerry Lorenzo was wearing um, when he when he leaked or when he posted those picture, pictures on IG for that hoodie um, that he wore during an Adidas uh, meeting he was having um, so it's that colorway it's a nice nice dark gray um, which I really do like it's I would say it's a cross between like a oatmeal and kind of the cement colorway um, like a, just a dark gray that's really nice um, as far as details go for the pants or for the sweatpants um, you have your regular long drawstrings on them um, the rubberized essentials logo um, around the crotch area is darkened um, and then obviously uh, the biggest feature is going to be with the pants is going to be the cuff at that bottom um, which is nice scrunched um, short cuff um, so it's not exaggerated where um, when you're wearing, wearing it with shoes like like a jogger pant um, which has the thick long cuff it's not exaggerated like that it's a small thin cuff um, which creates a lot of versatile looks in my opinion um, that you'll see later on in this video um, and then obviously you have your 3m um, hit on the right or left side um, on the calf area not the calf area um, the knee area the 3m essentials um, ironed on logo um, such as for your god and I mean that's kind of it as far as the details go um, they're, they're very simple um, sweatpants obviously um, got your pockets in the front um, pocket, one pocket in the back um, and then when it comes to fit for the sweatpants uh, my measurements are I'm 5'11 about 155 pounds um, I wear a size small uh, my normal jean size or waist size um, is gonna be about 31 or 32 by a 31 32 by 30 um, lengthwise in, in like Levi pants so um, use those measurements to I guess figure out your sizing um, I'm definitely oversized so normally like any, any other pants I would wear like a size medium um, but uh, your god you always want to size down um, just because it's going to be a little bit longer and a little bit wider as far as the waist area goes so lengthwise it does fit me pretty perfectly as you'll see in the on as you see in the on bodies as you've been seeing on the on body um sweatpants are definitely versatile you can achieve about three different different looks depending on the shoes and what you're kind of going for um one just like the regular sweatpants um sweatpants style um where you just have the shoes a sock a uh, pair of socks and then um you're kind of exposing them um the socks uh while having the cuff a little bit higher um around the ankle area um the other look is just gonna be uh, no show socks with the uh, cuff being around the ankle area kind of give you that more dapper look kind of the um, the look he's been going for with the um californias the slip-ons um and then the final look is going to be uh, rolling up rolling up the cuff and laying the sweatpants drape down uh, so that there's the cuff is hidden um, and allows the sweatpants to drape over gives you more of a straight legged look um, which i think definitely looks pretty good with like high tops um, and some other pair of shoes um, but those are three different kind of versatile looks you can have with the fear gods which um, i really that's why i really like the sweatpants um, and price wise they're about 90 96 um, after tax um, which is definitely hefty but quality's 
pretty pretty much there I would say for that price um, and they're definitely pretty versatile so you can get a few different looks off with that one pair of sweatpants um, so I mean that's kind of pretty much it for the video um, if you did enjoy it definitely um, hit the subscribe button um, drop a like uh, if you have any questions or comments um, drop them down below I'd love to help you out with any kind of sizing advice or um, any kind of questions you might have um, I am gonna be dropping more videos moving forward um, about the half half zip um, crew neck um, the hoodie um, some calls um, dropped from the cause one cause Tokyo first that I got early from Japan um, so Definitely hit that subscribe button if you are interested in those kind of videos. I'm going to be a lot more consistent moving forward. I got a brand new MacBook um, to help out with the editing process because the previous computer I had was super slow, which made it not really fun um, editing the video. So um, definitely subscribe. Um, we got a lot more stuff coming coming forward. Um, hope, you everyone, hope everyone has a great day. This was um, Lazlo with KLA. Um, until next time, peace.